uh, Joe and 7QPP, and uh, John unfortunately took ill this evening, won't be able to attend, so I get to, uh, to uh, run the meeting for this evening as well as being one of the presenters, the presenters tonight. Um, some, some quick housekeeping items. Uh, first of all, if you would please silence, put on vibrate all your various communications devices that you may have with you this night. <coughs> Exits are available through the uh, kitchen in the back, uh, out the front where you came in, through the double doors. There's also uh, coffee, water, and fire extinguishers in the uh, kitchen. And if you happen to be wandering around, please be cognizant of any cords that are on the floor. We have some up here, uh, so we don't end up tripping on that. Appreciate that. Fire. Do we have any, uh, any first time attenders for the meeting here or this location tonight? Raise your hand, please. If you would, go ahead and stand up and introduce yourself. Start there. Uh, Tom Armour, WA4TA. Welcome. We have one up front. Al Robinette, ak 4 mup Okay, we have one back here. Go ahead. Uh, Sam Wolf, KK4NVJ. Welcome. Right. Over here. Yep. Mike Leslie, KK4GYS, Jasper Radio Club. You going to be shy tonight? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Joe? Joe? Yes. Go ahead. Dan Schmidt, KF4, ZKN. Welcome. There's more. Keep your hands up so I can see who you are if you're first timers here tonight. Uh, don't be shy. We don't bite. <laughs> Try again. Try again, Duncan. We didn't hear you. Yeah, you first. <coughs> Duncan McCarthy, non listed. <laughs> <laughs> Any more first timers this evening? Am I first timer? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> Why not? It's been a while. Anna McCarthy, and 9 khc Welcome. We appreciate you coming tonight. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and uh, do the roll call. We'll start here and work our way over. Doc W1DOC. Joe WD4FQB. Jim AK4BD. Neil and 4FN. I'm KS Work AJ, and I'm not mobile. I'm <laughs> 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 Jim, K4DLI. Uh, Jim, W4QO. Mike, W5JR. <coughs> Bill, K4YJJ. Uh, Rob, KK4LDA. Grant Reggie for license of All right. Excellent. Yeah. All right. I'm Wayne, K8EAB. Max, no 5 cg Wayne, K4TJY. Myself, W5GG. Uh, <laughs> I'm Tony, NX4 TV. Oh, I'm Gary, W6 GB. Bob, KI4 SBL. Kathy, KI4 SBK. Karen, AK4 TR. Bill, K6 WBB. Brian, AG6R. Roger, K4 RNM. Bob, K4 BB. <coughs> Oh, you did, huh? Okay. Jim, Katie, one I. Reed, W2CQH. Uh, John, N4CUS. J, AK4QT. Mark, KK4FOF. Mike, 84MC. Stuart, AK4EX. Gary, AK4NA. Fred, KK4JYO. Mike, N4MEP. Chris, KI4APG. <coughs> West, W3WL. Wayne, KG5WU. Jim, N4SEC. Brian, N3HJX. Ian, KM4IK. Larry, <coughs> KJ4YOT. Roger, N7BU. Jim, W4JDS. Chuck, AE4CW. Zig, AF4MP. I'm AK4 LG. Aaron, Aaron KK4 LOV. N1KDO, Jeff. Mike, KK4 LJG. Bob, KK4 GHT. Walter, KJ4 HE. Clyde, AK4 TL. Key, K4 KRX. KC4 EMF. Tim, WK4 U. Rick, K4REB. Terry, W4YBB. Bill, W4OO. Uh Scott, KB4KBS. 
Craig, M-Z-4-C-W. John, M-4-T-O-L. Fred, M-4-C-L-A. Rich, Fred has connections at the FCC and I revoked my license for not paying my dues. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Joe? Oh, KJ Plow IXJ, Joe. I think we got everyone. One more? Yeah, KG2 GM. Thank you. Uh, do we have anyone visiting from another club who'd like to make an announcement? Please uh, raise your hand. Yeah. Uh, I'm Jim from the SARS Radio Club, Southeastern Antic Radio Society. And this Saturday, you are all invited to Jim Miller Park for a big winter swap. Uh, there's a lot of activities going on. We'll have coffee and donuts in the morning and a radio competition, bring in an antique radio. You can check the SARS website for details on the thing, SARSradio.com. We'll have a 50-50 raffle. We're going to have a speaker. We have a, a retired uh, college professor of anatomy who's going to give a talk on uh, Quack medical devices, electronic medical devices, nineteenth <laughs> and twentieth century. And so it's going to be a lot of fun. So Jim Miller Park building <coughs> starts at eight a.m. Saturday. Yeah, Mike Lesser, the Jasper Club. I just wanted to thank this club in case I hadn't had a chance to thank everybody for the ham jam. Did you guys put that on? Yep. Ham jam. Yes. Yeah, I was the I was the lucky winner of the Kenwood TS five nine. Oh, wow. <laughs> Here, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and then to top it off, I also won the Begali Keyer, so now I'm using your club CW training materials to learn CW. So, thanks a lot, guys. You a good job. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, really. Give me $50 for a cup of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm Okay, some of the upcoming activities uh, for the club have the uh, Radio Merit Badge. Their, uh, DX, Southeast DX Club meeting. Thursday. Yeah. Southeast DX Club has their monthly meeting Thursday night. Uh, details can be found on the club site and uh, the meeting at uh, sedxc.org. We have Joe Blackwell coming to speak to us about his adventures with the N. H-A-S, I think it was, Swain's Island, the expedition. Should be a good one. On the uh, radio merit badge, we had 19 boys get their radio merit badge oh. last Saturday. And we had uh, six Tiger Cubs get signed off for a requirement and got their Tiger Cub badges. Very good. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Also, uh, this weekend is the uh, Dalton Ham Fest. It's the uh, first major ham fest, if you will, in the area. It's usually pretty well attended. A bit chilly, but usually well attended. Uh, International Day at School Oaks Library. Is someone going to speak to that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the Georgia Cuso Party coming up April 13th and 14th. And of course, uh, the Dalton Ham Fest and FDIM. <laughs> Jim, maybe you want to explain a little bit what FDIM is. Okay, the Dayton Ham Fest. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm, I'm trying to figure out where we're going to have the FDIM. <laughs> Everybody knows what the Dayton Ham Fest is, right? The big one interna internationally, probably the largest in the That's world, it. or just pretty close. Um, FDIM is four days in May. Uh, it's uh, sponsored by the QRP <coughs> Amateur Radio Club International. Uh, about 275 people last year uh, came a day early, so the ham fest is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and we add Thursday to that. That's why it's called Four Days in May, because you get the ham, you get the Thursday seminars. The Thursday night is vendor night, which is bigger than a lot of uh, ham fests of late, sadly. But there'll be uh, probably uh, 15 or 20 vendors there in the hotel selling all kinds of gadgets and parts and everything. Then there's uh, competition, there's uh, for construction, there's a banquet and all this, all uh, ostensibly QRP, but basically what we are is tinkerers, so if you like to tinker, we get probably uh, two or three hundred hams come over one of the evenings for participation and, I mean, uh, observation and checking it out and all that kind of thing, and picking up parts and all kind of stuff, so check it out. Uh, 
just type FDIM Google and it'll pop up. It's a lot of fun. The first my first trip to Dayton, uh, I went with Jim and he took me to that event and it was a lot of fun. They uh, they don't take themselves too seriously. They have a good time. Hey Joe, before yes. you leave the slide, uh, maybe we could see a show of hands of who's going to Dalton that has space for others to go with them. If you've got a seat in your car and you have space for folks to ride, would you raise your hand? Dalton or Dayton? Dalton or Dayton? Dalton. Dalton. Okay. Dalton. 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 Dalton, Georgia this weekend. Okay. If anyone has room or would like to team up with folks, if you those who would like to get a ride, raise your hand. Okay, great. We're real high. So some, everybody else can see it. Okay. All right. So, so maybe pick folks and come back down. Hey, John, just comment on the International Day since there wasn't any comments about that. Uh, that's over in Johns Creek. Uh, off of Spruill Road, and um, every year the library has an international day which they bring in all kinds of different uh, groups and, and volunteers that highlight uh, the international aspects of the world that we live in, and uh, Chuck has spearheaded uh, uh, an event uh, coinciding with that, uh, where we set up a full HF uh, station. Uh, last year we had the K3 and the, uh, the AMP, and put up a Cushcraft uh, vertical and worked, I don't know how many, 30, 40 countries. Well, more than that. It was, it's the AWRL uh, sideband contest. That yes. Was, yeah, worldwide sideband yeah. contest. So it's a lot of activity. So it's a fun day. You get a chance to interact with a lot of people, some of which have no idea what ham radio is all about. And uh, it's just a, it's a good, you know, <coughs> day of uh, camaraderie and, uh, and having fun with ham radio. What are the hours? Uh, I would guess, and I don't really know, 10 till 2, I would guess. Okay. Uh, when, when it's open for the public. <laughs> okay. International Day. <clears throat> so, um, there's been a, a challenge issued to Norfolk for a fox hunt that's uh, coming up. And uh, I don't know who is, anyone is heading that up currently. Mike, Mike, you, Mike. We have a volunteer. So, could you just briefly explain? Now, we haven't picked a date yet, but Sarah has challenged us to a hunt. We're actually going to try to have a a a hunt between the two clubs, or you know, with the two clubs combined together. Since I'm giving a presentation to their club next month on team hunting, they said, hey, it's a good idea. So we're trying to find a date to do this in. Uh, unfortunately, my March is jam-packed because I'm moving, packing and moving. Um, so it may be early April sometime. Uh, the weekend before the GQP, possibly. But I know the, the Sarah folks are, are going to be practicing, so we'll need to dust off my presentation from last summer, I believe it was, or whatever it was, and uh, start getting some fox hunt antennas and uh, <coughs> testing out your equipment to make sure that you can actually find something with it. And then we'll have some hunts with, uh, with Sarah and, you know, it's a friendly competition. Really. Mike, who is Sarah? Sarah, that would be the Sawney Amateur Radio Association here in Forsyth County, incoming. Uh, is there a band in particular that you think? <coughs> I'm sure we'll hunt on two meters. Okay. <coughs> okay. Yes. And it would be an urban setting or more of a wilderness or start with urban and then go into a, a uh, park uh, the, the initial stuff will probably be somebody parked in a parking lot across town somewhere and you got to go find them. Right. As opposed to doing uh, the, the hunts that some of the RDF folks do, radio direction finding uh, groups do, where they go out into the backwoods and trails. Uh, we won't be doing that anytime soon, I'm sure. <laughs> We want to make this simple, where you can drive up or easily walk up to it, depending upon how how cumbersome your uh, your equipment is. And we don't want to lose anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I promise I won't cool. take 100 watts of well, this glass building to scatter the signal all over town. I promise I won't do that. 
I promise Ooh. I won't load up a railroad track. Stay tuned. Watch the reflector. RF for 80 miles in the direction. Oh, that would be dirty. All right, the Norfolk and Tennessee. <coughs> Chuck, you want to speak a little bit to that? Oh, okay, well, John was going to, but I guess he can. Um, John, had, uh, John had floated the idea that uh, perhaps we should have something to reprise the antenna sig we did several years ago. And who, who in here may have participated in that? We had about 35 folks that were in it, so a goodly number of alum are here. Um, one idea that John had suggested was perhaps we uh, form up a sig, and as its focal point, to have sort of somewhat of a goal in mind, is to uh, focus on field day and maybe help uh, the field day captains come up with antenna designs, uh, try out those designs, at least you know, model them and maybe build them and test them and so forth, and hopefully end up using them at field day. So that was the idea that uh, John was suggesting. And uh, we would, uh, uh, if we could get a, a small quorum, and I'd say at least five folks are interested in doing that, then we'll kick off a session. We haven't undefined yet. We'll meet whenever we figure out what we want to do. But sometime between now and field day, we'll get going and uh, get some work done. And, and the target, again, would be to uh, learn about antennas, but with the end point being field day. Any questions? How much, anybody in the, in the room right now would like to say, hey, I'd like to do something like that? If you'd raise your hand. OK. We got five. I think we got five. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, if you don't mind, when you leave, uh, would you mind writing your name on a piece of paper back there where you signed in? We'll have a sheet back there that just says, I'm interested in working on the field day in Tennessee. If you'll do that, then I'll get in touch with you. Thank you. Volunteer opportunities. We have, uh, looks like two of them coming up. The Georgia uh, Cure on May 19th and... Uh, the diabetes organization apparently is also looking for some volunteers. So That's the, the diabetes the so a society sponsors the Tour de Cure. Oh, yeah. Okay, well then, one cent. <laughs> Actually, Go ahead. Um, the folks that are handling Camo support for the public's Atlanta Marathon on March 17th are still looking for volunteers. I'll put, if anybody's interested, I'll put the contact info on the reflector in the next day or so. But uh, they are shorthanded this year because people are out of town and due to other conflicts couldn't make it. So they're still looking for a bunch of people. It's March 17th. It is. <coughs> it is. I was trying to get, yeah, I did a posting on the reflector and I did get a response. I had a large supply of stamps and I did get a response that uh, somebody said their daughters collected stamps. And so Way and I have put together a care package of stamps from all over. Um, and I can't remember who sent me the request. I meant to look before I left home. So if you're here, come see me. I've got a package. And I need to see JP, <coughs> the late JP. All right, ham radio crews. Uh, Jim or Terry, you'd like to uh, speak to that? Well, after all the uh, great publicity, the crew <laughs> <laughs> I, I really feel, feel kind of stupid standing up saying, does anybody want to go on a cruise? <laughs> well, well, we need amateur radio operators on those cruises for distress calls. <laughs> At least it's not on Carnival. Yeah. At least you're on Holland and not Carnival. That's right. <laughs> this is the uh, fourth cruise that they put together. Uh, I think it's a North America DX Association cruise. Anyway, uh, what we found out about so far, it is in October. Uh, in talking to Larry and his uh, email address and all is up there, and we're going to... Jim's going to pass out some information if anybody's interested in this tour, in this, on this cruise. From what I understand, they're, they're allowed to put up three antennas on the ship, and ICOM is supposed to be furnishing three radios for everybody to use. Right now, they've got 44 signed up. 
uh, to go on a cruise. Last year they had, I think, 180. Uh, the stations will be available to operate 24 hours a day for the entire cruise. Uh, they're going to Costa Rica, Aruba, down into the canal, and a couple other places. Uh, the stuff that Jim's going to pass out is some prices, which the prices are coming down, believe it or not, after the last week. <laughs> <laughs> Jim and I are planning on going, and we're still in the process of just putting this thing together. And we thought maybe some other guys from the group might be interested in going with us. So. There's several others. Uh, if anybody's interested, there. raise your hands and Jim will yeah, pass out the information. We'll have some more literature in the back, but if you want it right now, just raise your hand. Okay, but it sounds like the other thing I found out, suppose Larry told me that we were allowed to bring our own radios on board. And I'm still trying to get that verified. But he's supposed to be real good friends with the captain, and they're going to allow this to, to take place if we want to bring our own radios on board. So uh, be kind of, it's just be a unique experience to be Maritime Mobile for about a week. So if anybody's interested, get in touch with us. Mike, do you need a special Any questions? License? Special license? No. There's some paperwork that uh, Larry's getting for everybody that we've got to fill out, but nothing special. Because I know normally I do that quite a bit, and you have to get a, a license from the country where the ship is registered to be legal. He's working all, if there's any questions, Larry told me he had it all worked out and had the paperwork. All we had to do, he'd send the paperwork to us. But it was a, no problems at all. All right. Scott? All right. This Information I wanted to share with you is on the screen. <clears throat> so pull out your glasses and our uh, binoculars. But if there anybody who doesn't know that field day is on the fourth weekend in June, not the last weekend in June, I want you to hear me now and believe me later. It's not going to be on the 29th and 30th. It's going to be on the 22nd, 23rd of 2013. So if you come on the last weekend in June, you're going to find an empty parking lot. So fourth weekend in June, mark your calendars, get your kitchen passes, let everybody know, plan your vacations properly, Steve. <laughs> and I'm going to send a special email to uh, uh, Ed so that he doesn't schedule himself with the fire department that weekend. Always does it. Don't know why. Maybe it's not by accident. But anyway, <laughs> uh, if you would like to help me plan, I would love to have some more help. Um, the next planning meeting will be held at Sweet Potato. It is not Sweet Tomatoes, it's Sweet Potato. It's on Alpharetta Highway. If you know up and down Alpharetta Highway a lot, the old Applebee's restaurant is now called Sweet Potato. And it's got comfort food buffet. And it's like eight bucks. And it includes your tea if you, if you want sweet tea. So does a little more. Uh, to get a soda, I think we'll ground that to right at $9.98. Anyway, so not an expensive dinner, all you can eat, and we're going to be planning. If you can't make it March the 7th, then pull out your uh, calendar, your outlook, and the first Thursday of April, the first Thursday of May, and the first Thursday of June, we're going to have planning meetings on those dates as well. So we'll want to see you if you can't make this one. And you can send me an email, kb4kbs at nfarl.org. Uh, send me an email. Um, we do have <coughs> captains for several of the uh, stations. And I'd like to network the stations this year. So anybody who is a ad hoc land construction expert who would like to be the land captain, uh, I'd love to hear from you as well. Um, I went through a couple days ago and updated all the sign-up sheets so that they're even good to go right now. So if you want to sign up for an operating time and get in there early, you can go to signupgenius.com. Um, you're going to look for our sign-ups. Once you look for when you come to the page, um, I'll have the screen captures for next month. But basically, when you're looking for the sign-ups, you want to put in my uh, email, kb4kbs at nfarl.org, and it'll take you to sign up for all the uh, different stations so you can get your time in right uh, early. Now again, last thing, fourth weekend in June. Don't forget, no excuses. Don't say, I didn't realize. I'm trying to tell you, it's the fourth weekend in June. Be there. Thank you.
this is a this is a delightful slide. Um, anybody know what MSA is? I mean, okay, a couple of three. It's Mill Springs Academy, which is just over here, not very far in Milton, and uh, a uh, in. The, during, in January, the, uh, one of the science teachers said, I'm going to teach a ham cram for some of my students who want to become hams. She's a ham. So uh, she asked us to help out, which we did. And uh, we have three brand new hams from Mill Springs Academy, one of which at least I know is here. Sam, you're here. Stand up, would you? Congratulations, <laughs> Sam. <laughs> These guys spent four days. Uh, studying with their teacher, and then we came in and did a review with them on Friday. They took the VE exam on Saturday, and there you go. Uh, their teacher is Martha. Uh, some other really good news is here is they applied for an AWRL grant for a station, and they were one of the three schools in the whole country selected to get an AWRL grant for a station. The hardware Excellent. just arrived, and we're looking for a few folks who'd like to come help as a small team to help get the station going. So if you're interested in doing that, if you'd see me, I know Mike has already said he'd be interested. If there are any others who'd like to come spend a day or two, uh, I got one right here, got another one. Thank you very much, Neil. Uh, it, it won't take long. We're just going to go, we're going to do a survey first, and then we're going to go install the gear. It's uh, FT897. Uh, they'll have a, we'll have a couple of antennas. Actually, we have three antennas, and uh, it's going to be a good station. So thank you very much. But again, this is a I think this is a really positive sign. Oh, and one thing, Sam, I think you and the and you and Alistair and Joseph are doing what with the other students in class this semester? We're teaching them. Yes. Oh, about that. Excellent. All right. All right. Yeah. So, uh, and, and how many how many uh, students do you have that you're teaching so far? I have three. Uh, Joseph has three. Wow. So we got at least six more that are in the pipeline. Yeah. We'll look forward to them before, before the spring is over. All right, thank you. Thank you, Jim. Aries. Thank you, Joe. Just a quick update on what we're doing at Aries Amateur Radio Emergency Services. This is uh, North Holton Aries. Uh, our meetings are the second Tuesday of each month. That's uh, obviously the Tuesday before this one, and last meeting, and we hold it at Brandon Hall School, which is in Sandy Springs, we had a great meeting, uh, Wayne, W, G, 5, uh, KG, 5, W, excuse me, did a real nice presentation on the work that uh, he's doing at the state level in reporting what we do, and of course, Mike Cohen did a a great presentation uh, on the Aries frequencies that we're using and a matrix that we're putting into Sandy Springs Center. Now our objective is to support communications in a backup situation for all five North Fulton cities. And that is what we do. And we have a lot of fun doing it. We're all working towards our set our simulated emergency test which would be in October every year. So if you want to have a little fun and work with the public safety agencies in North Fulton, come join this team and uh, we have a net every Sunday night 147.06 and uh, at 8.30 that's the Roswell Water Tower repeater. You're very welcome to check in the net or come to the meeting, even as a non-ARIES member. We'd like to show you what we do. And uh, the uh, dinner is about 6 o'clock prior to, right there at the school, in the school cafeteria, if you'd like to do that. A lot more information on the website, NFARES, at NFARL, which is our website here at the club, dot org. I'm the club's liaison, our club here to Aries, and W4UOC is our emergency coordinator, Tom Cope, who is in Sandy Springs. So look forward to having you on the net and coming to the meetings. Thank you. Okay, uh, one of the uh, additional hats that the VP did. Go ahead, Wes. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> Doc, would you stand up, please? 
<laughs> Don, well, anyway, he doesn't want to stand up, but he won the $100 prize at the holiday party and donated the $100 to the library. So I think we owe him a, a thank you for that. So uh, one of the other hats that the VP gets to wear is program chair, and these are the programs that we have scheduled uh, thus far this year. Uh, you'll see my email address up there. If anyone has an idea that you'd like to see a program uh, for uh, May or July, feel free to give me an email, and we'll take a look at it and see what we can do to meet that. Uh, any questions on the programs coming up? What's DMP? Okay. What's DMP? What's that? To be determined. It's supposed to be to be determined. <laughs>